we will uh, say about uh, use memo react hook so use memo if you take this react hook actually maybe uh, it returns you a, a memoized value okay maybe uh, it can be used in cases when okay you are going to do a complex operation with two values and it does not make sense of doing this complex operation without any change of the value so in that case use memo can be used so in use memo what it takes is it takes a dependency array where you can say if these two dependency array don't change you just return whatever the value which was previously returned if if any of this dependency changes only we will be doing that uh, operation whatever is mentioned inside use memo and returning a new value else unless the dependency don't change we will be returning the old memoized value this is about use memo to uh, make you understand this with a simple example let me uh, go ahead to uh, my uh, react application so this is a simple application with uh, right now returns hello okay now uh, for uh, making you understand let me create two use states okay value 1 and value 2 i'm just creating two states now okay the first one let it be with zero okay sorry maybe uh, as you know if you don't know use state i would uh, recommend you to see that use state okay uh, my previous tutorial on use state which i will be also adding in one of the cards you should be seeing that so let this be input value 1 and set input value 1 and i will create one more state with input value 2 and uh, now okay i am going to write a use memo with these two dependencies input value 1 and input value 2 also let me uh, <coughs> create two input uh, elements with this input value 1 and input value 2 okay how you will create it is just since we are uh, returning multiple elements you enclose it with this brackets and uh, we will put input okay value equal to input value 1 okay input value 1 and on change if uh, the user changes it i'm changing the value of it okay whatever it comes <coughs> whatever comes okay i am changing the input state i am using set input value 1 so that i change the state okay so i will get it from event target dot value likewise you just copy it for input value 2 also again actually close it okay you change set input value 2 
now uh, we have created the two input elements let's go to the browser and check whether they got created so it got created maybe uh, you can enclose it in a div so that it comes in a new line okay And then uh, you can actually uh, add a CSS so that it comes in the middle also. So I will import this CSS also. App. And CSS. We have that uh, app.css, I think so. Okay. Now it has come in the middle. This is the value 1 and this is the value 2. Maybe for the sum also you can create one more input element. Okay. Uh, maybe you can create a label for this. Label. Input 1. Input 2. So input 1 and input 2 we can create and for the sum okay so let me also add a thing for the sum okay so before that let me create a use memo react hook I will use the use memo react hook which will return the sum okay so you can have something called custom sum okay and use use memo rehat hook which will sum these two values okay and uh, we have to return i am just returning pass int the input value 1 plus pass in input value 2 okay this will now return the sum so this sum you can actually display it down can actually call this function this is a function right you can actually call this function sum <coughs> so now we have written the sum function this sum function will call this use memo function okay use memo function which will return the sum of these input value 1 and input value 2 if you go and check now let us check now so it should be written in zero i think so but uh, we have not defined use memo let's define that also so use memo should be from react okay okay now i have imported now let's check whether it is working it is saying sum is not a function right just try this 
so in use memo you need not call it as a function if you just call this use memo it will return the value okay so now if i put one here it should be one here if i put one here it should be one here okay so whatever uh, whenever it refreshes right this returns the new value okay maybe i can put a console log here to show you that it goes inside this function okay i have put some function called okay and every time the state changes automatically what happens the function gets re-render function gets re-render and the this calculation happens the use memo this uh, it tries to execute execute the function and return the value since in use memo we have not put any dependency every time this logic happens this logic runs and it tries to find the sum from these two values okay if you see here if i put go to console if i put here it gets call the function gets call and executed and then based on that it tries to sum so every time this logic happens to retry the sum value okay even if we put 2 here it will return the sum okay now uh, this is correct but uh, because this input we have only two values right so whenever uh, this changes we have to execute this function to retry the value maybe i will create one more state now maybe a sample state okay okay i have created one more state sample value okay on which this you some function is not dependent on okay let me also add a input state uh, input element for that okay and uh, sample input something okay and uh, let this be uh, whatever it returned set sample value sample value send sample value set sample value okay now go to our browser we have one more input okay sample input now if you see even when you change this this gets call the use memo function gets call and it it is trying to trying to find the sum of input 1 and input 2 but input 1 and input 2 has not changed but this is not necessary right if you change sample input why the sum sum, sum function gets call for that we can just return the memoized value which is present when the input 1 and input 2 has not changed we can just return the previous value right so for that what you have to do in use memo you have to give a dependency you execute this function only if this input value 1 and input value 2 changed okay don't execute this function if if none of these dependencies change if this input value 1 input value 2 changes only you call this function and uh, retrain the try to find the sum 
okay if any of the else changes you read just return the old value old uh, old return value which was written from this function okay that's it now let's now we have given dependency to use memo so now let's try to check it so if uh, if input value 1 changes it gets called that's correct input value 2 changes it gets called that's all correct but when sample uh, sample input gets called it should not get called so it is not getting called it is just written in the whole value okay you understand just written in the whole value because since the use memo function we wrote is only dependent on the input value 1 and 2 we are uh, gave a dependency that it should execute the function and try to find the sum only if input value 1 and input value 2 changes if any of the uh, for any other reason if the state uh, gets uh, changed and uh, any other state gets changed and the function re-renders it should return the old value only old value the old memoized value which was returned from this sum since we have used use memo okay hope you understood use memo as i told you it just uh, returns the old memoized value if if none of the dependency if uh, none of its own dependency changes if only if the dependency is provided to it changes it will try to execute the function execute its function and find the find the return value and return the new sum which it calculated okay hope you understood